Hello everyone, working on an 18 Expedition 3.5 EcoBoost. This one's got a rattle on startup, so I'm installing the third gen updated phasers. And I want to show you the trick that I use to help speed up the process a little bit. You'll start like you would on any other one of these jobs, disassemble the engine, rotate the crankshaft over until you can get the cam locking tools in, which I've done here. You also take a paint pen and mark the links where the phaser marks are. I've got two marks on the uh, timing chain. And then you're going to install this wedge tool which I'm holding right there. And that's a locking wedge tool for a 4.6 or a 5.4 liter engine. And then once you've got that installed, go ahead and remove the cam locking tool. You're going to do one side at a time. Install a 26 millimeter end wrench on the exhaust camshaft. You're going to pinch the little clip on the tensioner together, hold it together. I'm going to rotate, apply tension on this exhaust camshaft, and I'm going to use the tension of the chain to push the tensioner back in. It takes quite a bit of force. You're going to oil is going to ooze out of it, and then you're going to put that wedge tool, wedge it down in there, and that will allow slack on the timing chain, and then reinstall the cam locking tool there's the new phasers they'll have an E and an I for intake and exhaust then loosen up the bolts I've already pre loosened these but I didn't completely loosen them up so we'll take the bolts out You'll need to put new bolts in these. These are a stretch bolt. And then I'm going to rock the exhaust camshaft so there's equal amounts of slop on both sides of the phaser. And then both of them are going to be pulled at the same time. And that wedge down there is holding the tensioner from extending out. So you have to do them both at the same time. I've tried to do one, but they don't. You can't just get one out. There's a little ridge on the chain guide that keeps you from doing that. You can see there I've got the paint marks. I'm going to line up the mark on the phaser with my paint mark on the chain. And I'm going to grab the intake phaser and line its mark up with the paint mark on the, the link on the chain. And you're going to slide them both on together. There's the paint marks. These phasers have dowels in them. So the dowel will line up on the camshafts and there I've got the intake on the exhaust still not lined up you might have to move the cam just a little bit until you can get at the index with the dowel there it goes so both the phasers are completely installed install new bolts and these bolts take a Torx plus 55. We're going to snug those up. My marks are lined up. Nothing's moved down on the on the uh, the bottom on the crankshaft. I'm going to hold tension with my finger on the chain. And then I'm going to rotate the exhaust camshaft clockwise again 
until I can get that wedge tool out of there, which just done there, and then I'm going to let it go back counterclockwise, and the tensioner will push out. Simple as that. Just make sure I put my finger down on that little clip, make sure it's loose. And we're going to tighten these bolts. These are tightened in three sequences. You, uh, the first sequence is 30 foot pounds. And I'm using the wrench in there. I don't want to apply force on the chain, the guides, or the tensioner because there is slop on that cam locking tool. So the next step here is you loosen them up 360 degrees. I just loosen them up. I don't really take them 360. And they're going to be tightened back to 18 foot pounds. Then I'm going to use this Mueller Coops wrench extender. Because these, it takes a lot of force to torque these bolts down. And then the final phase is 150 degrees. And I'm applying equal force with that with my wrench in the opposite direction that I'm torquing the bolt. Because I don't want any force on that chain, guides, or tensioner. So this will be torqued to 150 degrees. I have an angle mode on my torque wrench. So it lets me know when I've got the right angle. Now I'm holding, I swap the wrench over to the intake camshaft and tightening that down. So simple as that, you don't have to pull the tensioner, chain, or guides off. Tighten these down and you just reassemble it. Alright, thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you in the next video.